today on our uh, series, The Keeper at Home, Are Rebuilding Our House. And this uh, part of the series I'd like to entitle, Taking Care of Business. And uh, so I want to look more into uh, what it means to be a keeper at home and uh, what we, do we need to be doing today. Okay, so let's get right into the scriptures. In our last discussion, we talked about Eve's purpose, and we talked about her uh, her mandate from the beginning, uh, which was to provide uh, what is useful or necessary to humanity and to the male to achieve our divinely given goals, which are first to live out and manifest the divine uh, image and likeness of Elohim, to which is to walk in love and righteousness. And the, uh, the brethren also have uh, studies in regards to the image and likeness of Yah. Uh, and this is in everything that we do, uh, which will lead us to being joined uh, together as one. Uh, if we follow this in our heart with meekness or a true uh, uh, will to want to do the Creator's will, uh, to, to be joined as one with our male counterpart, to be, uh, to be one in, in unity, uh, also to take care of the earth and its inhabitants with Adam, uh, to be fruitful spiritually, physically, mentally, economically, uh, but together as a whole, and, multi and to multiply with Adam, and to dress and keep the garden of God, or the house of God, uh, which is the body of Messiah, together. Uh, it was not good, remember, for man to be alone, neither is it good for woman. So we are going to uh, continue in to uh, look at what Christ's uh, uh, goal is for us in 1 John and for us as a whole. In 1 John 3, uh, verse, excuse me, starting at verse 14. And it says, We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelt the love of God in him? <coughs> Excuse me. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So let's continue today to look at this love that we as women uh, must share in our role 
in uh, the body of Messiah in his nation of Israel. Okay, so let's continue on into uh, Titus 2 verses, uh, we're going to look at verses 4 through 5. We want to look at this mandate uh, because this is what every believing woman uh, uh, must do. We must show good works unto Christ, unto our Creator, okay, and to help the body of Christ in all things that we do. So Titus 2, uh, starting at verse 4, and this is uh, a mandate to the aged women. Uh, the age is not only older in age, but it has to also be uh, wise in understanding of the doctrine and, and of the scriptures. And, uh, and the young women, we look up this word young, it has uh, it's two things. One person, a person can be young in age and also new or new in the faith. So let's see what the mandate is. It says that the aged woman, uh, let's start at verse 3, that the aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. So today we're going to single out keepers at home for this series, and we're going to look more into that. Let's look at the uh, definition of keeper. I went to the Strong's Concordance, and I looked up keeper in the Greek dictionary. And that is the number 3626. And it says, a stayer at home, domestically inclined. One who looks over the domestic affairs with prudence and care. Now, I also looked at the same word in the Vines Expository Dictionary. And it reads, this word means working at home. Uh, and uh, in Titus 2 and 5 is said as workers at home. So what type of work did women do? Uh, what type of, type of work did women do then uh, when this was written? And what type of work should we be, should we uh, be doing now uh, as women of God, <coughs> excuse me, especially in this day and time, okay, which is, you know, a time, you know, of great distress for the people of God because it says that the love of many will wax cold. And if we are not loving our neighbors, then uh, the, the people of God uh, are, is going to be in a strait. And because we have to find love uh, amongst one another, we have to build love amongst one another. And so this is a time for us to come together. Okay, so let's look at the Proverbs 31 woman. Uh, many of you probably have heard of her, have read it many times. But one thing when I read this, some years back, and as I read it now, it makes more sense. Uh, it never uh, came together to me with the idea of housewife, of the, the American idea of the housewife as opposed